everyone! Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This is a painting I did of a cute little elf village inspired by the show Hilda by Luke Pearson. This was somewhat of a struggle for me as it's been a good few years since I've done a traditional watercolor mixed media painting. If you look on my Instagram, you'll see that it's mostly digital work. But over the Christmas break, I've been really inspired by other artists on YouTube to get out my paints and my pencils and start doing traditional work again. Okay, so I'm going to talk about this painting now. Right now, I've just put the first few washes of color down and I'm adding some depth to the forest. Forest has been and continue to be a struggle for me as I don't really know how to make them both thick and, and like dark, but also have atmospheric perspective. Um, so I'm not sure I've been really successful with it in this painting, but if anyone has any tips on how to actually do that, uh, please let me know in the comments. Rocks and houses are also on the list of elements that I'm not really used to painting, so I'm not sure why I chose to do all three of those in my very first YouTube video, but there you go. I was trying to have a consistent light source for the houses, as well as an obvious focal point, which is why the houses and the rock in the foreground have very few watercolor layers in comparison with the rest of the piece. I wanted the luminescent quality of the paper to shine through. This is where I really started playing with glazes. I wanted to push the trees back, but also punch the colors up a bit as the whole thing was starting to look a little dull. In hindsight, I think I was using too much Payne's Grey for the background. Later in the video, I do start to add a dark blue instead, which helps the piece look more colorful and considered. I'm definitely going to keep that in mind for my next painting. Okay, here is where I really start experimenting. I, I take out my colored pencils and my gouache and I try to bring the piece to life a little bit more. It's a technique I've used before, but since it's been so long, I think I may have overworked it. I think the larger tree in the background was competing with the houses as the focal point in my mind. I should have chosen one and sacrificed the other, which is sometimes hard to do when you're really proud of an element in your painting that needs to be pushed back and out of the way to make the entire piece work better, if that makes sense. So that, that was what was happening here. So right around here is where I wish I'd stopped. It looks good and, it, and fresh, it doesn't look overworked, um, but unfortunately I kept going. I don't wanna sound like I'm unhappy with this piece. I'm actually really proud of it since it's my first one in so long. Um, but there are definitely parts where looking back, I would do things a lot differently. So yeah, thanks for watching my first ever YouTube video. I'm going to stop the voice over here and let you watch the rest with just some music. Let me know what you guys think. Any questions or comments, please put them below. Bye!